Well, there's some really impressive trees here. I might have to come back on a, a misty day or in the autumn when there's a bit more colour. Oh, I might see something on the way back when the, uh, the light's a bit lower. See, it's a good comp composition. So, but I'm going to press on to this church and see what uh, image I can get there. Brought me hundreds of 400 to 100 today, thinking I wouldn't break uh, bring the 70 to 210. And I realise is what an idiot it was the 70 to 210. <laughs> uh, would have been ideal for this shot. Um, but that's how it goes. I'm not carrying two big lenses around with us. Because uh, last time I was out and uh, I didn't have me. Uh, 24 to 105 and I needed those focal lengths in between the 40 and 70 to get me compos composition so this time I've made sure I'm, I'm over the gap and carrying three lenses rather than two which does increase the weight but I haven't come very far so that's about it so what I'll have to do is I'll have to shoot this I'll shoot the, the long the tight end version on just the church and the tree to the right and then I'll shoot a wider one put the other lens on the uh, 24 to 105 and I'll shoot the panorama of the two trees either side of the church more of a panoramic landscape Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the long lens, long lens off, put the 24 to 105, take a wide shot in one frame as a backup, and also because I'm going closer to the church, I probably won't need this anymore. It's just too big. Now I'm just going to do the same as did with the long lens, and the light's going again. So I'll put it on live view. Put the squarey thing on the. Uh, on the church and a nice bit of contrastiness press the back button focused turn put the autofocus to manual focus to lock that in Damn it, the light's gone. I might just give up on this for now and come back to it if there's another break in the clouds on the way back. Um, could be sitting around here for about half an hour waiting for the light to come. Uh, I don't think the shot's worth it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a wander down to the church and have a look, look around. And I think that previous shot I, I took should be okay. I can always fudge it in um, in the in the software, and yeah, just I think I think it's more important just to go down and have a look and see if there's anything else can I can shoot or have a look at um, while waiting for this light to come back. 
strange because it's beautifully sunny over there, but it's not here. It's not here. It's not here again. <laughs> Why do I always pick the wrong spots? <laughs> I always want cloud, but I always get too much cloud. I'm just taking quickly bracketed shots. I know there's not a strong light on it, but it's quite a soft light, so with the pine trees in the background, it could look sort of a bit wintry, even though it's the height of summer, so, or autumny, so I'm just taking them anyhow. I might come back, or if the light changes in the meantime, I'll come back and reshoot. But I'm just gonna wander around and take shots, just in case um, the light doesn't come back. And I've also got them as uh, stock photos and that's quite nice, this soft sort of like wraparound light on the stonework. Well, I was just on the way out and the light came out again, so I have to set up again and shoot it. I may have got one shot, may have. Uh, so I'll have to see when I get back to the studio. And uh, there's a possibility of it kicking off again about now, I think. No, I, I can't predict it. It's uh, it looks a lot contrasty on here and sunny on here, but this this camera sort of makes it uh, everything look good, even me. I'm going to go across the stream and photograph it from that side looking over this way towards the fells which are behind me here so God, look at that arm it's huge a huge arm yeah towards the fells which are over there Well, that's it, the light's gone. So, well, the sun's uh, halfway over the mountain now. So, any minute now, it will completely go for us. So, I don't know whether you can see it on that uh, that church. Well, the church is probably gone by now, so out of the sun. So, I'll just uh, leave you with this little time lapse of it going. And here we have this gnarly log. I'm going to take some pictures of the intricate twistings of the root formation. Now I'm not gonna, <laughs> that's just so boring. I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, put that on you. It's not interesting enough. I'm gonna walk on by and, and I don't see why I should submit anything like that to use use viewers <laughs> look look at the lichen how it oh god wait a minute and look at that I take it all back I will submit you to this close up of a, bar, a piece of bark just cause the coloration's nice on it and the light's good on it and uh, also I had time to photograph it I wonder for how much longer 
Anyhow, that's it for that. Here's the picture. Oh, and I forgot. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, so you can have more of this, this shenanigans. And I'll see you later.